Something new is coming to OneNote, and this one might just catch you off guard. Because Microsoft have announced that the new Copilot notebooks are going to now be available inside of OneNote. And honestly, at first, I really didn't get it either. I mean, we already have Copilot in OneNote, and we have Copilot notebooks separately. So why integrate it in OneNote? Well, after using it for just a few hours, the way I now see it is Copilot in OneNote is helpful, but limited versus its younger sibling, Microsoft Loop. For example, you can only interact with it one page at a time, and there's not much depth in what you can create inside of a OneNote page. But with Copilot Notebooks, if we bring our OneNote content into a smarter notebook, where Copilot has better context understanding, it can do a lot more. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how Copilot Notebooks works in OneNote, what you can actually do with it, and how it might just change the way you manage your notes and insights, and maybe gives OneNote that upgrade it's been needed for quite a while. So let's dive in. You've now joined me in OneNote, and I'm also using a preview or the beta version of OneNote to check out these new capabilities. That means that you may not have access to these today, but of course this gives us an opportunity to check out how this new experience works with Copilot Notebooks inside of OneNote. So on the left hand side, we can see the normal experience in OneNote. We have our notebook, sections, and different pages of our OneNote content. That's no different to what we've seen before in OneNote. Now we do have a Copilot experience inside of OneNote via the sidebar, which also allows us to draft content. However, on the left hand side, we now see a new option. We can now select home to be taken to the Copilot Notebook homepage allowing us to create a new notebook or access existing notebooks. But also, you can see on the left hand side that OneNote respects this. If I was to go ahead and left click, it'll take me in OneNote to that Copilot notebook. If also we clicked into Home and we mark this as a favorite, on the left hand side you'll see now we see Project Greenspace Notes as a favorite notebook available through OneNote. And the Copilot Notebook experience works just like it did on the web. By left clicking in, you can go ahead and open your different Copilot pages and even make changes to them live within OneNote, now making these pages fully editable inside of the OneNote experience. And in addition, of course, you can go back to your notebook homepage and then ask it a question to summarize information from the content held inside of your Copilot Notebook. So let's go ahead and give our Copilot Notebook a quick question, see how it responds inside of OneNote. We can see here that Copilot responds in the exact way that we've seen before in Copilot Notebooks, but now directly through OneNote. So of course you're probably thinking, well Scott, this is just giving us the Copilot Notebook inside of OneNote. And what's the difference between the experience we see here on the web versus what we see inside of OneNote? But here I think is a big difference. Copilot Notebooks are giving you the ability to use them directly inside of an app you may have already used before. There's no friction going into Copilot Notebooks on the web. It's now visible and accessible inside of OneNote. But there's also an opportunity to improve your Copilot Notebooks from content held inside of your OneNote. For example, in our Project Greenspace here, we have a few pages I've created for Project Greenspace, authored as content inside of OneNote. But if I head back into our Copilot Notebook on the left hand side and then head back to the main home page and select from OneNote pages. For example, the project stakeholder mappings, project scope and objectives and other content held inside of my OneNote notebook. That now means that we could use OneNote pages that you've authored and bring them into Copilot Notebooks to be referenced and queried on. So it's pretty powerful to bring your OneNote pages into your Copilot Notebook. But in addition, we have another scenario. Here I have team management meetings. I have all of the team members that I manage and I have a note of all of their one-to-one -one meetings across a period of the months. I can now bring them in to a new Copilot notebook, allowing better Copilot capabilities than what we originally saw inside the Copilot sidebar in OneNote. But how can we achieve that? Well, head back into Copilot Notebook's homepage and now select new notebook. I'm going to go ahead and give my new notebook a name. 
With that now done, we can see we can add different references for the files we've worked with. And I also see our OneNote files here. Tom Spencer, Ella Chen, and other team members. Where I have OneNote pages, I can now bring them into my Copilot notebook. Microsoft 365 is evolving fast. Copilot, Teams, SharePoint, Loop, and now even OneNote. There's a lot to keep up with. And that's why we've created a full collection of on-demand learning courses at Your 365 Coach. They're built to help you get confident with these tools, step-by-step step at your own pace, and help you achieve more. If you want to go deeper, not just with Copilot, but across the whole Microsoft 365 platform, why not check out our full course collection link below. Now, back to the tutorial. So now our new Copilot notebook has been created. We can see OneNote pages for each of my team members. But also we know the power of Copilot notebooks means we can bring in content from different areas. So I can now go and add a reference and select the OneDrive icon to browse through Teams SharePoint sites on my own OneDrive for Business. I have a dedicated folder for team development plans. These are all the team members that I manage and their personal development plans that we've been working on inside of the different meetings. I can now bring them into our Copilot notebook. So not only now do I have the OneNote pages with the meeting notes I've taken from my team, but I now also have four additional linked Word files, each with the personal development plan of my team members. So immediately now we have both the experience of OneNote and the content that we can author and draft and update we synced with our Copilot notebook, but also I've brought in files on OneDrive, albeit SharePoint and Teams, to further improve my notebook experience. Both of course are visible and accessible through the OneNote app. But now let's also add some Copilot instructions to our new team management notebook. Selecting the option here, I'm now going to give Copilot information on how to respond for any queries I ask it relating to my team management area. And now with our Copilot instructions defined, letting Copilot know that I'm a team manager and also outlining the notebook contains meeting notes, development goals and more, I'll go ahead and click on save. And now ensures that when I give questions to my Copilot notebook, it'll respond with the right tone, information and more. But what now could we use this for? Well, just like we do with OneNote, it has lots of information relating to all of my meetings, the feelings of the team, how they're performing and more. So I'm now going to give Copilot a question. What reoccurring challenges or themes do we need to address across the whole team? Remember, you will only use information contained within this notebook. That includes the OneNote notes as well as the Word documents. Clicking Submit, we'll now see that Copilot begins to look for that content. We can see we now have it all summarized for us, the team members and also any resource gaps, making it really powerful now to use for team management but I also need to give my own manager some feedback on how the team are performing over the last one month. Let's go ahead and open a new chat with our Copilot notebook. And now we can ask our notebook to give me a summary of all actions across the team for the past month. Once again, taking information from my own OneNote pages from the meetings that we had and the personal development plans. And there we go. We now have a summary taken from the information we shared with our notebook. But also, as well as Copilot answering questions of the content stored inside of the notebook, we can also get an audio overview to let me know and remind me what we need to pick up over the team in our next set of one-to-one -one meetings. Let's now select Get Audio Overview and Copilot Notebooks will begin to generate an overview for us that we can now play back. And then there's the creative side. Marcus experienced a minor hiccup with a delayed blog post, but he's turning that into an opportunity by planning a short video series and aligning social media content. It's a real balancing act of challenges and progress. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I noticed there were also some tough moments for a few folks, like the slight discouragement in early media efforts, which later transformed into a boost of confidence after key engagements. So there you go. We can now have your OneNote notebook improve with the use of Copilot notebooks. Bring your content into your Copilot notebook to get audio summaries and more, and also get more value from all those notes you've taken inside of your own OneNote. But there are some limitations you should be aware of, which does restrict what Copilot notebooks can do within OneNote. 
That being that currently you're limited to just 21 note pages inside of a single Copilot notebook. And you can't copy a whole OneNote notebook either into your Copilot notebook. So it's not exactly seamless when you're trying to use it. Remember also that Copilot notebooks need a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. So ultimately it's going to restrict who can use these new notebooks too. But what are my thoughts on this new experience then? Well, I do get it, giving Copilot notebooks an experience outside of the web is really needed. Homing it into OneNote gives it a broad existing audience of potentially millions of people. However, the big question still remains. What's the future of OneNote given it's now over 20 years old? Well, this new introduction could suggest it's still been seen by Microsoft as the go-to note-taking app. But for me, I think if this is a direction, I'd love to see Microsoft Loop workspaces appear in OneNote, making OneNote a home for your notes, whether that's powered by Loop, OneNote, or the new Copilot notebooks. And whether this change is a short-term boost to OneNote or a long-term strategy, well, that's something up for discussion. So why not let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if this video has helped you, why not give it a like? If you haven't already, join the thousands of people already getting weekly tips by subscribing and hitting that bell icon. So other than that, I'll see you in the next one.